Welcome to Scale Model Basics. I'm Aaron Skinner, and we're looking at painting road wheels today. Now, if you build a lot of tanks, you know that painting road wheels can be kind of a challenging task. It can be kind of tedious because most armored vehicles have six, seven, eight road wheels on a side. Those can often be double, so you're looking at like 24, 36 road wheels that all need those tires painted. Now we are talking about road wheels that have tires. If you're beating a, building a vehicle with all steel wheels, you can skip this step. But for those of us who build a lot of modern armor in particular, you're gonna have to do this. I'm gonna show you a couple of techniques that can make this task a little simpler, or a little easier, maybe a little less onerous, and help you get good results every time. So the first technique we're gonna talk about is hand painting the tires. For this, I have already airbrushed these wheels, olive green, the body color for the vehicle. Now I'm gonna take some thin NATO black, Tamiya NATO black. I have pre-thinned this with some Tamiya thinner, acrylic thinner, and I'm gonna do this, and it's gonna be kind of like a wash. You're gonna apply it to the rim of the tire, and you just wanna to touch it to it, and it should flow along the rim between the tire and the wheel. And what it will do is give you a clearly defined rim so that you don't have to try and brush paint right up against that, which can be challenging to get neat and clean with thicker paint. This is actually flowing pretty well. I have not gloss coated these. Gloss coating the wheels would probably help it flow, but it's doing a good job of just picking out the rim. So once you're done with this and you've got that uh, rim clearly defined, you can come back in with your normal paint and brush the rest of the tire without having to worry about getting right up next to that rim because you've already got that line defined. So now it's just like hand painting anything. Pre-moisten the brush with a little thinner, pick up a little paint, and then it's just a matter of coming in and like I said, you don't have to worry about getting right up next to the edge because you've already got that part painted. And so there's the road wheel finished on that. Now I can go ahead and paint the outside edges, um, but remember that you do have connection points here. And I don't worry too much about what the inside edges look like because they're gonna be paired with another road wheel and very hard to see. So I'm not as critical about that part as long as it doesn't look too horrible. So obviously I'm gonna to need to clip these parts off the tree and clean them up before I can begin, begin assembly. And that means I'm gonna to have to touch up the road wheels a little bit. But I'd rather do that than clip them out ahead of time. Some guys do, they'll put them on a stick, a toothpick, something like that to use as a paint stand and clean them up ahead of time. Each method works fine. I just like using the sprue as a handle. I find it easier. Now I've got one road wheel painted, 35 more and I'll be ready to go. So the second technique involves airbrushing both the wheels and the tires. First of all, I airbrushed these wheels the color of the tires, NATO black. Now I'm going to use a circle template. You can find these at most arts and crafts stores. And all you wanna do is figure out which one of the openings matches the rim of the tire or the rim of the wheel rather, so it masks the tire but leaves the wheel and the rim exposed. Once you've done that, you can tape off the surrounding openings. This is to make sure you don't have overspray that's gonna get on the other wheels. So now I have that proper opening exposed. We need to head into the workshop and do some airbrushing. So all you wanna do is line up the opening with the road wheel rim. Grab your airbrush. And you can just paint it. And then once you're satisfied with that one, you can move on to the next one. And so forth. Down the line. Really the hardest part about this is having to adjust the that you're painting. And you can see that that bottom row has neatly painted road wheels. And that took a minute to do those six. So you can imagine how quickly you can do it. Now, I'm gonna flip this over. 
On the back side, you can see it's just the black. I'm not even going to bother painting the inside of the road wheels because it's going to be so on your. It's not. You're just not going to be able to see it, and it's just going to look like shadow anyway. So because the wheels are so closely set. So I have six neatly painted road wheels, 18 more to go, and this vehicle will be ready to go, but you can see how quickly that works. I got those six painted in, I don't know, less than a minute. Now, if you do get a little overspray, it's possible some paint may bleed up under the mask. Don't worry about it too much because when you hit the wheels with a wash towards the end of the build, that will neaten that line up very well. The one thing I would also add is that the hand painting technique where you use the wash to pick out the rim is useful for tanks. I prefer the circle template because it's quicker, but for tanks it works, but it also works really well for other kinds of wheels like plastic wheels on a car or a truck or aircraft because you can use that wash to just pick out that rim. You don't have to worry about it. And the circle template's not gonna work as well on those because that rim tends to be inset a little bit from the tire. So. Hope those give you some ideas and give you some techniques that you can use on your next build. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Skinner.